Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to edit videos using YouTube. So when I create videos or these tutorials like this example now uh, on YouTube I always have four sections to my video. I have an intro section which is just some let's have a look you can see it for yourself it's this DCP web that's my company and then tutorials is written afterwards and I did this using blender so if you want to make a tutorial like this uh, an intro like this you can go to uh, my YouTube page you can go to YouTube slash DCP web designers and when you get there you can scroll down the page and you'll see all the different tutorials I've done and you'll see one on blender 3d animation tutorial so this tutorial is quite long but if you want to learn blender it's quite a tricky tool to understand and learn i've done quite a good tutorial here showing you how to make something similar to this this uh, this intro i've just done here so also um in in my videos when i upload them to youtube i have the intro i have a front slide so the intro will play first then the front slide will show and the front slide will always just say how to install open office on windows 10 in this example and it may show a slightly different colored background but a different title for the next tutorial that i'm going to do so this slide belongs to this particular tutorial and then i always have quite a generic end slide um, which just gives them a bit of information about my blog and if you want to see more videos go to my blog and so forth so the intro plays first then the front slide then the actual tutorial and then the end slide and I sequence all of this using YouTube's video editor so to do this the first thing you need to do is go to youtube.com and click on the sign in button and if you don't already have a YouTube account or a Google account you need to click on create account and you need to fill out the form and then you'll have access to all the different Google tools um, it's worth doing that because they're quite you know, useful and then you can click the back arrow or I can click the back arrow and you just click on the sign in here and then log into your YouTube account so once you've done that you should see something similar to this you won't have any videos or anything uploaded you can create some channel art I think later I'm going to do another tutorial showing you how to make channel art and what is the right sizing and all that good stuff and how to add links and uh, you know, I'll show you some more tutorials on how to do more things on YouTube But for now, we're going to focus on the YouTube video editor. So I'm going to click on the upload button here And YouTube is asking me Select a file to upload or just drag and drop it now. I can just drag and drop it straight away But this video if I drag and drop it and leave it public Everyone's going to be able to see that video and it's not been edited I haven't got the intro I haven't got the front slide and it doesn't have the end slide so I want to set the video to be private and then I'll drag and drop the video it's going to take some time to upload it's going to take let's see it's saying six seven eight five minutes however long it's going to take we're not going to wait for this to upload because I've already uploaded this video before so I'm going to click the cancel but normally what would happen is after video is uploaded it will say your video has been uploaded successfully and it will give you a link that you can view the video on no one else will really be able to see that video apart from yourself because you set it to private remember so I'm going to click on this little menu option here and go back to my YouTube channel go back to my channel this will be your channel if you click on it and I'm going to click on video manager and I just want to show you that in the video manager I just drag and drop that video but I cancelled it and I can see the video is here it's saying 0% uploaded so really I don't need this I can delete this the reason why I can delete it is that video that was uploading I uploaded it previously already here you can see how to open how to install open office on windows 10 i've already uploaded that video so i didn't want to have to wait five minutes and for it to do all that stuff but it's already there so now that i've got this video uploaded the intro video we also need that uploaded and i did that a long time ago so you just follow that same process and you set it to private because the intro is not really for anyone to see that's only for people to see when you've got the final video made and that will be a part of the final video so once you've got your intro video, if you have one, you don't have to have one. And I would suggest you create at least a front slide and a back slide. I'm going to do a separate tutorial, probably showing you how to create these slides. They're pretty straightforward. I'm using some basic uh, video editing software called GIMP. I'm pretty sure you can find tutorials on YouTube. If you type in GIMP uh, YouTube custom thumbnail, something like that, you should be able to find some tutorials on that. 
I'm going to try and do that later and if I can't find one I'll make one myself uh, so that will help you as well um, so once you've got your intro video if you have one and the main content video uploaded you can then go to youtube.com slash editor so I'm just going to refresh this and this is what the editor looks like and you're going to see all the different videos that you've uploaded you can see my intro video here and you can see here how to install um, open office on Windows 10 that's the video we just uploaded uh, I uploaded about half an hour ago and I want to create a sequence using video using YouTube's video editor so the first thing I always do is give my video a, a sensible name so I'm just gonna copy this here this is what the video will be called on YouTube and as you're editing and doing stuff YouTube will automatically save what you're doing uh, so the first thing that happens on my video is I have an intro so I'm going to drag and drop the introduction here I'm going to zoom out here so this is like a magnifying glass you can zoom in and out I'm going to leave it zoomed uh, zoomed out and you'll see this little box here and the video starts to play you can pause that you don't really need to watch that and then next to this block here is another empty block and the empty block needs to contain the first slide so I'm going to go to, um, by the way, if you click on this video, if you do click on the video and it starts to play, um, whenever you click on something in YouTube, depending on what you're clicking on, if it's a still image or if it's a video or even if it's audio, whatever you click on, the options up here will change. So this happens to be video, so it's got audio options, it's got filter options, you can change the brightness and the contrast, you can do slow motion, you can rotate it, you can pan and zoom and do all these other things, stabilize it. Um, but, and you can add filters to it. I don't really do any of this stuff. I don't really need to, because um, all my videos are screen captured off of the screen. I use this bit of software called Snagit to do the screen capturing. So as I'm, talking to you right now I'm using this software called Snagit to record this particular video as well uh, which I will go and edit later and upload that to YouTube as well so when I click on this video um, I don't really do any sort of editing in here but to come out of the editing for this particular video clip I click on this close button here and that brings me back to the uh, the options to upload other content and I want to get the first slide the front slide in there so I'm going to click on this picture camera it's upload photos we can call it add more photos and I'm going to click on upload photos and then I'm going to select both the end and front slide and drag and drop them in here so this will allow me to upload the images okay so I've got two images here I've got the front slide and the end slide and I always want the front slide to be after the intro so I'm going to click here and drop it here so you may not have an intro you may just have a front slide that starts at the beginning so you wouldn't do this video part you just put a front slide there but you can go and make that intro I've shown you how to do that on, on my uh, YouTube tutorial so the next part of the sequence so if I click on this close button because right now it's asking me do I want to do any editing to this particular slide uh, you can see there's no audio option here uh, because the slide doesn't contain any audio it's just an image if I click on the video then you'll have audio options here you see sometimes you'll see something like an error message up here I won't worry about that too much um, so the next thing I want to do is upload the actual tutorial itself so I'm going to click the close button I don't want to edit the slide you can just pause it and I want to drag I want to go back to my videos and drag and drop the video into here so now I've got the intro animation I've got the first slide telling my users uh, let's close that so I've got the intro I've got the first slide telling people how to install open office it's really saying what this tutorial is about I've got the tutorial itself and now I need the end slide so I'm going to click the close button again I'm going to go to the pictures and I'm going to drag and drop the end slide here and I'm going to pause it so really I'm almost pretty much done now I've got my intro slide I've got the front slide I've got the in the actual YouTube video itself the tutorial itself that I screen captured that's that video there that we dragged and dropped and uploaded 
um, and then I've got the end slide but it would be nice if as and when these slides are showing it would be nice if there's a little transition a little fade in and a fade out between each section so to do this I'm going to click on the close button we'll pause it and we'll go to transitions here and there's loads of different transitions I'm not really too fancy I just like to have them crossfade so that one will fade in and the other one will fade out so I click on the crossfade you can click on the other ones if you want and I drag and drop it onto this second slide here and it's going to crossfade between these two so I'm going to pause it I'm going to go back and I'm going to drag and drop one in between these ones here as well and I'm going to pause it one more time go back I'm going to drag and drop one here as well so let's close this let's just start the video again so the video intro will play it's only like nine seconds long and we just watch this first little sequence it will fade out and then the slide will fade in and then that will fade out and then the intro the actual video youtube video tutorial will start Hi. and welcome to this deep let's pause that that's going to last for six minutes 42 seconds and if we get closer to the end of that video and play it for open office i'm going to be doing some more later as well so feel we can just pause that and we'll see that the um, that will fade out and then it will fade into my uh, final slide the end slide so that's pretty much done so all I need to do now is tell YouTube to create the video so I'm going to tell it to create the video and it says we are processing this video check back later sorry about that that's fine it needs to go and do all the editing and make sure the video sequence quickly but the video is done now but it's still uh, set to private so I'm not sure how long that will take I can't remember off the top of my head but normally that will show up in my video manager section here once it's done you can see it's still pending it's preparing uh, the video itself so what I will do is I'm going to pause this video. I don't want to wait. I don't want you to have to wait around. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to wait for that sequence to finish editing. And then we need to do a final few things to, to complete this tutorial. So I'm going to pause that now and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so after waiting about five minutes, the YouTube video finished uploading and creating the final cut of the video. You can see that here. We can just close this we don't need this anymore so the not the next thing I normally do is just click on the video and I just make sure that it's all running correctly so you can see the intro here's the slide that fades in and out hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to just check the audio is correct and then I just scrub through the video quickly Start menu. just make sure that everything's okay normally I make sure that I can see the original video I uploaded was 1080p so I make sure that I can see all the different quality settings just check it in full screen it looks fine it's high res it's all good uh, so this video is good to go so the last thing that I do can you see there's a padlock here this is saying that this is a private video we want to make it public now so that you can actually watch the video so i'm going to go back to uh my video editor manager so if i just click on the the little uh menu here go to my channel and then go to video manager so the last things that i'll do is i'll click on edit video And I can, you know, these the, the thumbnails that YouTube have picked out are not great. So I'll probably end up making my own thumbnail. I'm going to show you, I'm going to make another tutorial and show you how to do that. But just as a general understanding, if you click on customize thumbnails, uh, where is this? Uh, if you hover over this maximum file size, it tells you it's 2 megabyte file size, 1280 by 720p uh, pixels and it can support those following formats so if you want to make a little custom thumbnail you need to follow those guidelines i'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial um, normally i add a add a description here so we'll add a proper description i'll do that a bit later 
but the most important thing that I need to do is set it to public and then click publish and normally I set my monetization up so I set it to monetize and then just click save here so if anyone watches the video hopefully I'll make a little bit out of it too not a great amount but you know something's better than nothing so if I go back to my video manager videos I should see that it's showing public now and that's it you should be able to go and watch this video really this one here I don't need anymore this is the original raw file before it was edited so now that I've checked the video it's all okay I can delete this one it's just a waste of space that's it I'm, that's that job done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I know it's a bit longer than usual but hopefully you'll find it useful and uh, I'm going to follow up with some more YouTube tutorials uh, just to help you out a little bit more okay I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.